So I need to get myself out of the current pickle that I find myself in. But the question is, how did I get there in the first place? Well, now, several years ago, I replaced the water pump, which is right there. And I went to go hook up these two hoses, and I'm like, I can't figure out where the hose has got to go. And then it dawned on me, I'm like, hmm, let me grab the old water pump assembly. I grab the old water pump assembly, and then I realized this water pump has the two outlets here. And uh, I don't know how I missed that, but I missed these guys right here. So after some research online, um, I realized that the older style water pump is actually really hard to get, next to impossible. Uh, so there is a modification for this newer style one. Superformance, these two water outlet. Um, I've ordered two of them, which I believe are the correct ones. Uh, the tap and the drill I have here for this one. This one I do not. This is a 20 mil by 1.5, so I've ordered a tap and a appropriate drill off Amazon. Join me as I get myself out of trouble, and I'll show you how I did it. So when drilling and tapping any hole, having the correct size drill bit is just as important as having the correct size tap. So in the case of the smaller one, which we'll do first, 12 mil, measured with a vernier, then my thread pitch measuring to a 1.5 millimeter pitch. Let me show you that in close up. Once you know what you're dealing with, then just head online and look up a drill tap size chart. There's your answer. To insert it into a pre-existing hole that's there. The purpose of that was to square up the pump to the drill press. And for those of you thinking a full-size drill press is one of the most useful tools in any shop, you would be right. All right, so I got my 12 by 1.5 tap. I'm actually gonna put it in the drill press. Instead of doing it by hand, I'm gonna use the drill press to give me a little bit of pressure and a little bit of cutting force. I should clarify, I'm not going to turn the drill press on. I'm just gonna use it as a holder and I'm gonna use the chuck to walk it around. I have specifically not removed the housing from the vise. Leaving it undisturbed means that the drill press and the outlet housing should still be in alignment, which is indeed crucial to doing it this way. Going to give you a little bit of a different perspective. I've actually got my armpit on the crank uh, of the drill press holding some pressure down and watch. Notice how I've still got the water pump housing in the vise. That's just in case I need to head back to the drill press and do it over again. First hole came out perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm not gonna put it in permanently because I still have to do the bigger hole and it might be in the way, so I'll do that tomorrow. Time to tackle the bigger water outlet hole. All right, so tap and die set and a drill bit has come from Amazon. I'm just going to double check that they are, in fact, the correct ones, that I ordered the right correct ones before I proceed. Uh, and then we'll get drilling. So my car is a 1978 Ferrari. This water pump I've later learned out is probably out of an 81 uh, fuel injected version. But just like I've found on most of these things on this old car, nothing is perfect. Everything is kind of wonky. So I'm trying to guess at where center is because I don't have a round surface to know exactly where the center point is. So the hole definitely does not seem to be in the center of that casting. So I'm going to have to walk it a bit to the side. So I need to kind of move my hole a little bit to the one side, 
which is what I'm doing right now. Keep in mind, I'm not at my final size yet. I'm still well under. I do not want to be close to my final size until I know I'm exactly where I want to be. I always kind of think of it as sneaking up to the size that I want to be at. This is my final size right now, and looking at the video I realized I should have slowed down the drill press a little bit because I'm going a little bit too fast for what I'm doing. If this was hard metal I would have for sure burnt out this drill bit, but because it's aluminum it's pretty soft and it's got a lot of cutting fluid on it. Same thing as before, I'm not removing the pump from the vise. I'm going to do the exact same procedure as the smaller hole, just knowing that this one's going to take quite a bit more effort because it's a much bigger outlet. Assuming that you have the correct size drill bit and the correct size hole, it's going to work. You just have to go nice and slow and take your time. This clip is sped up. It is. It's at 900%. So this video feed is showing you how it's done 900% faster. So I'm going really slow. All right, so looking at the outlet here, you can see it's quite large compared to this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in the lathe for a minute. I'm gonna open this up a bit because I think I can get a bit more out of this, get a little more flow, more coolant flow through there. Well, I guess in a pinch, Teflon tape would work. However, since I have the correct automotive sealant, I'm going to use that instead. Here's my water pump, ready to go back in the old Ferrari now. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out, and hopefully this little uh, video helps you to drill and tap your next hole.